Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. Today we're doing up a super simple dessert. Only involves four ingredients. They're called Buckeyes. The kids are gonna love them, so let's get started. I'm gonna get started here with a cup and a quarter of confectioner's sugar, a quarter of a cup of melted unsalted butter, last but not least, three quarters of a cup of creamy peanut butter. Then I'm gonna grab up my spatula and kind of fold everything together until it's nicely combined. Until it comes together in a workable dough, something like this. After that, I'm going to grab an ice cream scooper and scoop up, oh, I'd say about a tablespoon. You can use a spoon as well. And just kind of roll it into a ball. So we're just going to go ahead and set these aside in a container. And this is going to give you somewhere in the neighborhood of 11, 12 balls, depending on the size you make them. Now what you want to do is slip these in the freezer for about 20 minutes just to let them set so they're workable. While they're in the freezer, don't forget to click that subscribe button, yeah that one right there, because you don't want to miss a video. In the meantime, I'm going to make up a makeshift double boiler just simply by boiling some water in a pot. Put a bowl over the top and throw in a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And we're going to stir and melt these down for about four or five minutes. I guess you can do these in a microwave as well. Until you get a nice runny smooth consistency, something like this. After about 20 minutes in the freezer, I'm just going to insert a toothpick into the balls. Dip them into the chocolate and just kind of swirl them around. You don't want to cover it completely because you'll lose the eye effect. Set them aside on a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. So we'll leave these for about 15-20 minutes so the chocolate sets. And there you have it guys, our Buckeyes. Don't these look really, really good? And now my favorite moment, the taste test. Mmm, these are so good guys. The peanut butter combined with the sugar, the creaminess of the butter, combined with the chocolate, and who doesn't like chocolate? And let's face it, they're fun to make. A definite must try. Head on over to cookandshare.com for this recipe and many more great recipes. Give us a thumbs up, and most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.